This is the E-Gun with the Quattro head. It has four nozzles and you can control the four nozzles by removing the little clip here, you push on it, actually you pull on it, and that's going to stop two of them from spraying, only giving you a double nozzle, like this. If you have smaller parts, you can go ahead and use it as two. If you want to use it as four, you push that back in. Hang on a sec. Like that, push, and push right there. You hear a little clicking sound, and now it's four. So once you're finished using the gun, you have a dial here, basically plating on is what we're doing right now. We're done using the equipment, so you want to clean the e-gun, return it clockwise to air on. You pull the trigger until all the material comes out. Then you click it over to water on, pull on the trigger. Basically what it's doing is passing clean distilled water through the tubes, through the solenoid valves, and flushing everything out. Once we've done the water, I usually go back one more time to air, pushing out the water. Again back to water on, leaving the lines filled up with water, and then we turn it in the off position and shut off the power. That will keep your gun clean with no problems. Also, the equipment comes with one of these little tools. It's a plastic tool. On the black side, this actually fits exact. You can unscrew each one of these nozzle caps. Once you've unscrewed them, the opposite side of this little tool has a little pin that fits exact that you can break any metal particles or pieces that have formed. That. You can go also from the inside, making sure there's no formation of metal, giving us resistance of material. Once you screw this back, it's really hand tight. You really don't want to use any tool besides this. Just give it a little tight, that's it. Preferably, I mean, you really want to keep these always in the same position, meaning this one here should always go here. Don't swap them. Leave them in the same place. They have been calibrated to fit exact for each one of the nozzles. So the cap and the nozzle are together. 